good evening to all. So now I am going to demonstrate the Depreter Metronic old model, 3000 console. Okay. And this is foot pedal. And this is the Depreter hand pace. Okay. This is Depreter hand pace. Console and foot pedal. These are the major parts. And then we have few blades. See that these are the blades. Different uh, angulated blades. Straight blade, curved blade, ordinary blade. And then we have different buzz. See that DCR buzz. So for uh, skull base drilling work on DCR procedure and all, we have different DCR buzz. Okay. So I am going to show you how to set up the equipment. First thing, just see that back side you have to connect the power card. Okay. Just connect the power card. And then switch on this button. Once you switch on this button, automatically display will come. Okay. See the display will come. It will show like no HP and insert hand pace. No HP in the sense, no hand pace. So what we have to do, this we call it as hand pace. This is M2 hand pace. See that, this is M2 hand pace. This console is capable of connecting M2 and M4. So this is M2, I am going to show you how to connect. See that, in the hand pace you can see that, on arrow mark and red color dot will be there. Okay, same way if you come inside, uh, in console also we can have a red mark. Since it is a very old console, the mark is, uh, not clear so I'm going to connect it see that just make it straight press it inside so hand will connect once you connect the hand pace automatically settings will come see this is the rpm so 5000 means the five maximum speed is 5000 rpm and then it is uh, we are going to connect the blade so you're going to use for a sinus surgery so it is showing sinus settings okay so these are the blades and then you can see this is foot pedal so you can see the foot pedal, see this is the foot pedal, here you can see the same red dot and straight slot will be there, just max the slot straight away, you have to put it straightly, see that, just press it, no need to rotate or something, just press it, it will go in, inside, okay, so once you connect it, now it is connected, now what you have to do, these blades you have to connect, so for example initially, uh, doctor will use straight blade, so this is straight blade okay so straight without any angulation and then with this we call it as 12 degree blade see that the angulation is slightly angled 12 degree and this is 40 degree see that 40 degree and this we call it as adenoid blade so in this all these blades you can see the cutting will be in downside see the cutting is downside can you able to see this is cutting in downside even this angulation also you can see the cutting is in downside but in ordinary blade, the cutting will be in upper side. See that when I rotate it, you can see the top tip. Okay, so the cutting edge will be upper side. This is ordinary blade for ordinary procedures. Okay, now I am going to show you how to set up the blade. For example, first one I am going to connect the straight blade. Just press this mouth. Okay, press this mouth like this, and then insert the blade and then release. Okay, can you able to see? Once again, I am going to show you just take out see that just press this button mouth put inside and then leave so this setup has to go like this so if you see this gap it should be very minimal this is the proper way of connection okay so and then what you have to do then you have to take this irrigation tube it will come in a like whenever you buy a blade it will come as a pack in a straight blade so what you have to do just it has two end one is saline water end like for the NS you have to connect and another end is it will be open like this just go and connect like this okay once you connect that see the gap the mouth will be touching with the tube this is the perfect way of connection okay once you connect that then what you have to do this you have to open and you have to connect it in the saline water solution okay so if you want to connect with the irrigation uh, pump what you have to do just Connect the sign of the solution, okay, and then just open this uh, setup. See that just open this uh, cap of that irrigation pump, whatever the length you need, you just have it, and then make it make this pump center one, okay. Inside, you can see that you have to make it center. Then, what you do, just place the tube like this, In both the side, you can see that V shape cut will be there. Here, also, we have a V shape cut. This is very important. You have to make it center and then place both 
the tube in the both side it is supposed to be in the v cut and then you have to close if you wrongly made what happened this tube will get cut okay so once you connect that you have to connect it in the side motor position this end so what happened whenever when you press the foot switch automatically irrigation will come so if you connect it in the pump so this is the advantage here so now i am going to connect to see so again what you have to do you have to connect this suction tube here from the mobile suction so once you connect that see that i am going to press it the foot switch this is the foot switch pressing button and this is the button for the oscillation and forward button okay you are not supposed to press the button this is used to uh, <coughs> like change the mode from forward direction to reverse direction or oscillation to forward mode so no need to press this one press this button press it you can see the sound see even the, you can see the display so whenever i'm pressing like oscillation mode see that if i am pressing partially see the display so it will be coming like very low speed if i press keep on pressing the speed will get increased see that if i keep on pressing full see that the speed will be getting increased if i if i press fully you can see the speed is 5000 rpm okay so this is the right way of operation for depurator uh, blade usage okay so for example if you want to connect a cow blade what you have to do just remove this tube and then remove the suction tube just take out this button same way what you have to do just pull out this mouth and you have to take out this blade okay for example if you are going to connect a curved blade see this is a curved blade i am going to connect it here see that same way put this mouth inside put it inside just leave this mouth so what happen it will get close again i am show you see that pull this mouth inside just connect it like this and then leave okay so it will get connected so that as like as per your convenient in whatever position for example this side if you need you can keep it like this or this side if you need you can keep it like this and you can connect it okay then what you do second thing you have to connect the irrigation tube okay once you connect the irrigation tube then you have to connect the suction tube and then you can press the four switch it will work okay so this is the generator connection with the blade now i am going to show you in divider we have few bus high speed bus for some uh, uh, like rhinology procedures for example dcr procedure or any some uh, soft drilling work inside the nose so at that moment you can use this bus see the bus bus has a cutting edge you can see close uply you can see the cutting edge so these are bus we call it as drilling bus okay here also you can see it's a cowed bus and it's a straight cutting bus so it is a cutting bar even we have a diamond bar also presently i don't have but we have a diamond bar also different shapes so these bars it will be in color of blue see that it's a dark blue color so what you have to do same way same like uh, blade connection option press the mouth keep it inside and then release okay so once you connected it will going to rotate before that what you have to do whenever you connect the uh, bars we have to change this mode to forward direction see so now it is in oscillation mode if it is light is blowing both the direction it is in a oscillation mode oscillation means it will be one rotation will be like this another rotation will be like this this is oscillation so for drilling and all whenever you are using drilling bar you have to change it to forward mode so so for the drilling mode you have to use it in forward direction that is unidirection for that what you have to do press this button so the light will be changed to single direction so unidirection means it will work in a single direction even you can see this when i pressing force you see that when i pressing the force see the sound this is forward mode it will be a single sound see that continuous drilling sound if you are put in oscillation mode see i am changing to oscillation mode if i am pressing this you can see the difference see that do your sound this is oscillation mode by hearing the sound itself we can decide whether it is in oscillation mode or it's a drilling mode okay so it is very important when you are connecting this bar if you are put it in oscillation mode it won't work uh, main thing you have to put it in forward mode press it in forward mode and press the button push this button so what happen automatically see the sound it will be drill okay so as per your convenience you can adjust the speed by the foot switch so this is for the drilling procedure for drilling also you have to connect the same irrigation tube 
okay uh, same way you have to connect the irrigation tube and you can use okay so this is for dcr application or any drilling application in the uh, rhino press okay so this is the overall technique here the some of the tips i want to share you like so come closer so whenever you are using a uh, angle blade you are not supposed to take out the inner blade this is very important because see here when you take out the inner blade it has an internal spring so it is getting expanded and it won't go inside then what you have to do you have to discard this blade see it this is also a cow blade but here it is not removed see this is also a cow blade you can see the gap see that it is a, a partially used blade and this is the damaged one see that somebody mistakenly pulled out so when they pulled out what happened the inside the spring got expanded see so these blades you are not supposed to use because if you are using this kind of blades automatically this liberator motor will create some problem okay motor will get heated up or motor may go expand uh, motor life will be getting reduced okay so don't use this so what happened this problem will happen okay and my uh, main thing is you have to see that the below washers no this green washer is very important for all the blades if you are continuously reusing this green washers will come out and it will get leak into the motor so what happened whenever you are sucking out so the tissue will get and come into this port and it will go inside the motor okay and this is also create a damage to the motor windings so always be careful when you are uh, using these blades because these blades are disposable designed so you have to uh, throw it out after several usage okay so it is very important part and uh, all things are common so this is the irrigation port and this is food switch connection and this is the liberation liberator port okay so after surgery is over what you have to do just press it same way take out and same way it's reverse action see that come closer just pull it out back side okay same way food switch also pull it out back side no need to rotate or something simply pull it out back side okay this is the dismantling technique okay so now you can switch off the machine you can see this switch just press this button switch off so the display switch off okay thank you